Okay, I wanted to shoot this quick little video tutorial today about using Craigslist. And you'll look up here and see the it is craigslist.org. And in my case, I live in Louisville, Kentucky. So it's going to say louisville.craigslist.org. So we will just click on that and that will take us over to the site. Now, if you take a look at this screen, you can see there are just lots of different things you can post in. Housing, houses for sale, for rent. You can sell things and there are areas for jobs, lost and found, all sorts of little community things over here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on my account and then we're going to log in here. Okay, now you can see I had a, a few few ads on here before. I sold the desk, I had uh, some houses for sale, and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do next, would just forget about that. If you notice when you delete something over here, you probably need to be aware of this. It's not really going to go anywhere. It will say deleted, or if you just let something expire, it will just expire at the end of the time. So we're going to go here and we're going to click on new posting and we want this ad to show up where I live which is in Louisville. So we're going to just hit go and it's going to bring up the next screen which is going to ask us what type of listing do you want. So we're going to be posting eventually in a number of these different categories, but for now, we're going to say, um, let's see, which one should we do today? We're gonna to do housing, housing wanted. Now you would use housing wanted if you needed an apartment or if you wanted, in my case, for someone to call you to buy their house. Um, a distressed property maybe. So we're going to click on real estate wanted. Um, we're just going to put zero in the rent. We're going to put zero in the square footage. And then we're going to put a headline up here which uh, I will supply. And we'll, we will just say need to sell your, whoops your house now and then we will just put Louisville KY okay now one thing it will do it has my email address in here but we're going to leave this anonymous and it will send it to me through a an encrypted um, email address from Craigslist you really don't want people having your um, you know your real email address so we'll put here um, this is oops and I like to go down just a little bit so it stands out because you really can't put much H you know bolding or anything in here this is where the text goes so what we will be doing is copying and pasting headlines and text and so it will go just go slide right in there quickly now this doesn't really apply cats okay dogs okay uh, others to contact you for other service and is um, services and products that is no that is always a no so do not check check these boxes we'll just hit continue Okay, now it's going to go over here and it's going to allow us to add some images. If I were selling a house, I would, um, I think you could put oh, maybe a dozen pictures or so on here. I don't remember right off the top of my head, but you can put a number of pictures in here. So um, 
I would normally be pulling those off my computer, so just for the sake of doing it, we'll just go in here and let's see if we can find a picture of some kind. Maybe a house picture. Um, here we go. Let's see if there's a picture in there. Okay, so we'll just use this house right there. We'll we have put one image in there. You can see it will go here. If we wanted to put another image, we would just choose this image. And you can just continue on uh, till you have, if you're putting in images, you can put in whatever image you want. So we're going to say done with images. And it's going to go over here and show you a little bit about your how your ad's going to look. And it's going to send a confirmation code to my email address so that I will know uh, when it has been, uh, you know, published. So if you look here, it's in Craigslist, Louisville. It's under housing, real estate wanted, reply to, and then it's my anonymous Craigslist uh, address. Here is my headline, and you'll notice that it bolds that. Um, it will, the first picture that you put in, if you're ever doing pictures, this is important. The first picture that you put in is going to be like uh, the showcase picture. And then it's going to add other pictures over here on the side, which you can hover over. This is really just for your information. You're probably never going to need to do this. So we're going to go. Now, what? If we had real text in here, you can see where I typed, this is where the text goes. All of this area down here then would be text for there's enough uh, room for as much text as you need. It gives you your post date. It says it's not okay to contact me with other services. Uh, if you check that box, you'll get all kinds of strange people contacting you about all kinds of things. So you have a choice. Uh, if you were, let's say you were going to sell a car, you might want to email that to a friend. You can do that from here. Uh, we're not going to do any of that. So we're going to, uh, well, you have a chance here. Let's, you can edit the images. If you upload a picture and you don't like that picture, you can edit it. You have a chance on this screen to edit the text. If you have a typo or whatever, but you can edit anything on this screen. Just so you know, you can always go back if you mess up because I've done that and you can always edit it again. So don't be like overly paranoid about the whole thing. We're going to hit continue. Now this is actually going to send an email to my email request to my email address. And it is going to probably ask me for a phone number. Let me see here. I'll close that out before I got in. See if we can get this to pop up real quick. Um, Okay, so yes, it's going to come up here. See if we can click on that. Further action is required. Let's see what it says here. Follow the web address below. This is a safeguard. Okay, it's going to say, what do you want? What which one of these things do you want to do up here? So we're going to we'll just click on this link and see where it goes. Um, you would probably need to put that either you can put it in your email or I, it will come to my email and I can do that. So it's asking us do we want to see our posting? It's already up and there it is. Need to sell your house now and that's what it looks like. So we're going to uh, I'm going to go back here and Let's see here. What's the best way to do this? This was the confirmation screen. Let's go in here and see if we can um, get back in here. Go back into my account. 
Okay, and you can see right here where the new ad is. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come back here, it says it's active, it's the only one that's active. Um, so I'm going to, you can click on it and see it if you want it. There it is again. You can make changes from this screen and you can also delete this posting, which is what I'm going to do. But that is really just how simple it is to put an ad up on Craigslist. Let me close this out. I don't think you'll have any problems with that, but uh, I think that should about just about do it. Uh, if we were going to post a different kind of an ad, then we might go into a different area. Um, let's see here. We can go back into Louisville Craigslist. Um, so those would be housing type of ads. If we were going to pose a, post a job sort of thing, we would come down here to real estate. And then we would go into... Uh, you would get into a different screen, but we can shoot another one on that for real estate. So that should do it for today on how to post on Craigslist.